Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from Digital Scrapbooking at HQ.com. Today I'm going to show you how I organize my templates in the Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 Organizer. First thing I need to do is to click on the Organize button on the splash screen. Now my catalog's loaded, I'm just going to add a few templates to show you how I will go about organizing them. Go to the File, Get Photos and Videos from Files and Folders. And then I just browse through to find one of my template designers for Cindy Schneider. And then click on Get Media. As usual, it's listed quite a few files that it can't import. You don't need to worry about these. These are usually um, duplicate files, zip files or text files that we don't want imported anyway. Click on OK and it shows me my recently loaded images. I am going to go through and tag my templates as templates and then also um, with the number of photographs they have. So I'm going to set up a few new um, keyword tags. I'm going to add a new category, choose this box here for templates and also one for previews. Now under the templates I'm just going to go ahead and add a number of keyword tags based on how many photographs. So go to Keyword Tags tab, um, Panel, go click on the green button and then click New Keyword Tag or Control N. It's quite fast if I do Control N, you can see. Now some of you may not worry about going up say above five photographs, it just depends. I know that generally I have quite a few templates with lots of photo spots as that's how I like to scrapbook. If you rarely buy templates with more than one or two photo spots, you probably don't need to go into all this detail. Other tags you may consider tagging with would be um, circular photos or perhaps even um, whether or not they're a clustered style or a simple style of template. But for me, I find it quite a good basic tagging system is just with number of photos. So now I'm going to double click on the first template and I'm going to drag over one photo. Now you'll often notice in t with templates that it comes as a PSD file or as a TIFF file. The TIFF files are smaller and some people prefer to use those. But for me, I always use the PSD files so I won't worry about tagging the TIFF files. So my next photo, my next one has seven photo spots. Just drag that on to this is a preview. So I'm just going to drag a preview tab onto here. So a lot of template designers include both a TIFF and a PSD version of your template. Depending on which one you like to do, you probably only need to keep one of them in your catalogue. So I'm going to look for the files that end with TIFF and then I'm just going to delete them from my library. I'm not going to delete them from the hard disk in case I want to go back and um, use them later. That's already just cut my um, tagging time down. Now it's just a matter of dragging on the appropriate tag. I'm just going to continue on tagging them either as a preview or with the number of photos. Now when it comes to actually using my templates, how would I go about finding them? Well because of the way I scrapbook, I usually choose the number of photos before I choose my template. But if I'm working on a layout where I just want one photo, I'll click on the one photo tag here. If I'm thinking I'll either include six or seven, I'll search for both six and seven photos until I'm happy with the design. If I have no idea how many photos I want to use, well, I could just search for every template in my collection and look through them that way. So there you have it. A very quick and easy process for tagging your templates. You don't need to move the files at all, so they can remain on your hard drive in the folder for the kits that they came with, 
came in. Would you like to see more Photoshop Elements video tutorials? Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.